Well, Andre and I were coming out to start some of the weeding so we could continue strawing up everything. And Andre started finding scapes in the garlic. If you don't know what scapes are, these are what the flowers are going to be. And with garlic, they're not supposed to flower. Because if they start flowering, then the plant will start diverting its resources to making seeds, not producing a garlic bulb. So before it flowers, you're supposed to cut it off. And unlike regular garlic, where the scape comes in and then hooks around and actually looks like it goes back down, elephant garlic, it goes straight up like you see here. So Andre's gonna snip this off. And then there's one right there. Now the other thing with the scapes is that you can also uh, you can use them kind of like chives and you can make pesto out of it you can make different things out of it so you can actually use these uh, some people give them to chickens some people don't and so here's a scape right here that's not exactly ready so it'll probably be ready in the next couple of days but it's like here's one right there uh, so I'm going to go in and I'll show everybody the ones that Andrea got from the other day because she was out here weeding and she looked over and says, oh, there's scapes. Now we put these, we put the garlic in the ground at the beginning of uh, February, it's February 10th. Well, actually it's more like the middle of the month. And uh, today it's uh, March 6th. The first ones that she got was uh, March May, May 6th. or May 6th. Uh, the first one she got was May the 4th. And so these have not been in the ground three months and they're already producing scapes. Um, we contacted our my aunt and she planted her garlic in October and uh they're not even close to being uh with scapes yet they're still play uh two or three weeks out but she also lives in missouri we're in zone 8b she's in zone i think 6a or 6b so there's a zone difference and her soil is you know typical midwest soil and our soil is sandy soil and so hunter is pointing at another one over here and so just coming, hmm? just coming out yeah so there's a scape that's just coming out we'll probably have to get that one tomorrow because you don't want to get them right when they're coming off the leaf you want to get them where they're up a little bit you but but my uh so the garlic looks like it likes the soil and it likes the temperature here uh, I just, we just don't know why more people don't have garlic farms in our area. Because as far as we know, there's only a few of them in the entire state. Now in South Carolina, um, you have sandy soil at the coast, obviously. And then when you get into the upstate area, it's uh, full red clay. And uh, garlic does not really like red clay that much. Actually, most things that go in the ground don't like red clay that much and so all right done rambling just wanted to show you the garlic and uh, i'll show you what andre got the other day of all the scapes that we're going to figure out something to do with uh, just passing by the sisters uh we finally took off their winter uh, plastic barrier so now they can have the warm breeze on them and so the cold breeze in the winter time which might get them sick so i was passing by just wanted to say hi to the sisters Okay, here's the scapes that Andrea got a couple of days ago. As you can see, there's quite a few of them. Uh, the good thing about garlic, they only produce one scape. So it's not like we have to go back and keep cutting them off because it keeps producing more, or wants to keep producing more flowers. So they're one and done. So we have about 600 plus or minus garlic in the ground, not including the corms. 
So when we get done with it, we're going to have about 600 scapes, hopefully. Sherlock, of course, is impressed. But he's a dog, so he shouldn't be eating garlic of any form. But he obviously is happy about something. So, anyway, so all the scapes from the other day, plus all the ones that Andre are getting right now. So that's a lot of scapes. <laughs>